everybody. I hope that this finds you in a good place today, or maybe uh, it can be encouraging enough to kind of get you to a good place today. It, it's so funny to me how quickly our days can go from uh, bad to good, or from good to bad, or maybe some cases from bad to worse. Uh, in a matter of just a few moments, it, it's amazing to me how quickly that happens in our families too, and specifically with our kids, right? And I, when a moment can can get turned around and one way or another, it just, in a short period of time, is just off the, the rails, right? So, well, Sunday, we, we got into the subject of faith when it comes to our kids and our relationship with our kids. And one of the things that we all long for and that we want uh, is that um, if we're followers of Jesus Christ, is for our kids to be followers of Jesus too. I mean, when we understand the length of our relationship in the family of God, well, we, we want our earthly family to be followers of God so that we can enjoy uh, our time with them right on into the promised time that we have in heaven. But there are struggles and there are hiccups that happen along the way. And, and we may have kind of um, come to a crisis in life, in our kid's life, uh, or, or there may be a, a crisis that happens in your family and, and um, it becomes, faith becomes a difficult prospect for them. And, and we may simply have kids who have uh, questions and um, who have curiosities, who have doubts and just seem to never quite get the answers that they're looking for. And so they determine that they're just not going to be believers. And many of us have questions. Okay, Many of us have uh, questions that, that don't have answers. And yet we've come to accept that we may never fully understand and we may never get those answers. But that's not going to kind of derail our faith. But not to get into too large of a generational stereotype discussion, but there are younger generations than me that really um, kind of struggle to trust anything that they can't get complete answers on. And if there's something that they have a question on and they can't get a complete answer, then they're just not going to believe, or at least that's the way that they're thinking at this moment. I mean, so many absolutes in our minds change or dissolve as time goes by, and, and they may for them too. However, Sometimes, even when we have modeled Jesus and we've encouraged and, and, and been transparent and, and shared doubts and questions that have popped up in our own lives as we've talked about those with our kids, um, I, I, it still can happen within our kids' lives that they just kind of walk, walk away from faith. And I gave some suggestions on Sunday about how to maintain a relationship with them and, and to be a student of your kids and be a student of their questions and not be shocked by the questions that they have or to freak out and the moment can hurt and can cause our hearts to race very quickly when we start to think about our, our kids having a, a fundamental uh, problem with faith and not believing. And, and then we're, we're maybe not willing to, to give up the, the influence that we have in that relationship unnecessarily, but we're really struggling with our kids. But consider Jesus. And when he was on earth and how he moved and worked and related with people who thought and believed differently than him, I mean, he allowed... Uh, conversation to keep going in the woman at the well who believed differently than him, in, in Nicodemus who came and asked him questions in, in the middle of the night that he didn't understand, even Pilate who, who didn't understand who Jesus was and didn't even want to kind of get into it, but, but Jesus was willing to be in a conversation with Pilate when Pilate didn't understand who he was. And Jesus was just always willing to keep the conversation going, keep the relationship alive, even when we don't believe exactly the same way. And as parents, another part of the concern that can, can pop up, especially if we've been in church for a long time and, and we start to wonder what other people are going to think or what they may say if they hear that my kids have doubts or my, my kids have questions or my, my kids have an absence of faith and and I'm going to, again, kind of point to Jesus, and, and let me just make the statement that really should apply to all parts of life, and I think we let it apply to all parts of life, but sometimes we get hung up on this area of faith. Here's the thought. You can't parent your children with other people's opinions in your mind. That just doesn't matter. And, and finally this, okay, if we're looking to Jesus uh, for, for some insight, um, if you are worried about condoning your child's lack of faith or, or feel guilty by association because you're still hanging along with them while they struggle with faith. Um, Jesus, one more time here, if Jesus was concerned about guilt by association, he would have stayed in heaven. 
He would have never come to be around us or to teach us or to save us. But he did just that. Maybe that's something you needed to hear today. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we thank you. We praise you for who you are and the way that you love us and the way that you are constantly involved in our lives. And God, we just ask that um, as time is going by in our families and as the years go by, as the stages go by, would you help us to be uh, students of our children, to be people who are willing to ask questions and ask heart questions of our kids so that we really know what's going on in their heart. May we not freak out when there are moments of uh, doubt and questions that pop up. May we dive into the relationship that we are, 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 are building with our kids and help them through those moments of struggle and doubt and questions by simply being willing to listen, uh, being willing to offer suggestions, opinions without uh, making demands. May we help them find their own faith in you along the way. God, we love you. We, we praise you uh, that Jesus came, that Jesus didn't stay away, that Jesus taught us, that Jesus directed us and modeled for us and, and then saved us and allows us to be part of your family. It's in his name that we pray. Amen. So we've got one more devotion left for this series, and that's Thursday. So we hope you'll be with us uh, for that. It'll go live at 8 o'clock uh, on Facebook and on YouTube, and you can uh, just want to encourage you to share those um, those devotions that pop up on Facebook. You can just hit the share button and 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 share that onto your public feed, or maybe you want to send them to specific people. Uh, but that's the way that we get more and more people involved and and listening and paying attention to maybe some valuable truth from God's word that uh, that gets shared through these devotions for them. So I hope you'll do that, and we will see you again on Thursday.